Hey everyone, in this quick video I wanted to take a few minutes to show you Google Now on tap on my Nexus 9. So a few days ago I got a request asking me to download the latest version of Android. So uh, I installed it on my Google Nexus 9 and uh, played around with the features. Um, so I like some of the new features but I didn't actually get around to playing with Google Now on tap and today I actually active activated it and thought it might be nice to show you how it works. So if you want to activate the app what you need to do is hold the home button for like three seconds eventually um, a uh, screen will come up asking whether you want to activate Google Now on tap if you click uh, if you turn it on then you're done. So the way it works, you have something on screen. Uh, on this occasion, I've just got an article about hoverboards. Um, they are banned in the UK uh, in public places. So that's what this article is in relation to. Um, so let's see what happens when I hold the home screen. Um, uh, the uh, home button, sorry. So basically what it has done is identified hoverboard UK. And it's given me three options. The option to search on Google, the option to look on BBC News for some uh, related news and also to do the same on the uh, Android news uh, app. So I'm going to go on BBC News and what it has done is brought me uh, uh, to an article on the hoverboard and how it has become very popular in the UK. So let's look at something else. So uh, this one is another article about the mig migrant situation. So let's go way to the beginning. So uh, um, this is on the BBC website. So again, it scans the whole page and then it takes a couple of seconds to come up with um, related content. So on this occasion, it's given me, it's identified Slovenia and it has given me an option to go on Google and search for Slovenia. Um, it's given me an option to find it on Google Maps, uh, to, to do a street view to, so I can see what it looks like uh, or part of Slo parts of Slovenia look like. Um, it's given me the option to get some uh, news and also to look at some images. Now if I go a bit further down, so I'm now looking at some slightly different information. Um, let's see what it comes up with. Now it's come up with Slovenia still because it's mentioned several times in the article, but also Angela Merkel, uh, who is the uh, Chancellor of Germany of course. So it's given me an option now to see Angela Merkel's Facebook, get some news about her and see some images in addition to doing a Google search. Uh, so let's go down here and see what happens here. So you can search um, throughout text to see what it brings up basically. So it's it's brought up Slovenia still. It's brought up the United Nations because now that's mentioned in the article or in this part of the article. Angela Merkel as well and also the president of Turkey, which I'm not even going to attempt to uh, pronounce his name. Um, so another... Um, see what happens here. Let's have a look. So this is... Uh, a very busy page. So let's stop down here. So as you can see, there's a lot of things happening. And uh, let's see what happens when we when we do a search. I don't think anything is going to come up because there's so much information. Oh, I was wrong. Sorry. So it's brought up Digital Spy, which is the uh, home page. So to get more information on that, it's brought up Doctor Who, EastEnders, Coronation Street. I don't know who this Mark guy is. Barbara Windsor, Andrew Scott. So lots of lots of. Uh, information so let's do one more so i'm now looking at gaming and tech again on the same page see what happens there so it's got it's brought up jack white ways of accessing him and there's quite a few here even i can even get access to his songs images news website twitter facebook uh, demi lovato um selena gomez rihanna so i don't know who that is Splat uh, splatoon Blade Runner, Assassin's Creed. So, and let's do one last bit. So, okay. So basically, uh, the more you search for things, the better it knows you. So it's giving me some other similar uh, type of information. Actually, this is quite clever. The last thing, it's actually given me the address where this website is, where, where this, yeah, the people who manage this website are located, which is actually quite, quite clever. I'm just wondering, oh, it's down there, so that's why. So it's found it from the bottom of the page. Um, I just wanted to do a final uh, demonstration using the BBC uh, iPlayer app. So 
Some of you might be familiar with this. It's uh, an on-demand uh, service which enables access to BBC programming. So what it has done here, it's found the shows that are, that are displaying on screen, Orphan Black, Doctor Who, and Strictly Come Dancing. So let's go a bit further down and see if, if it gives us information about these other shows. And yes, it's given us Casualty, The Last Kingdom, Alex Ferguson, and a final one. So basically, this is now very, very easy to use. You simply hold um, the home button on any section of the screen that you're looking at and it will identify text and give you relevant information. This is really good because sometimes you don't know uh, the home page. So here, let's try. So Casualty has a home page. Now, I could go on Google and search for it, but this is a much easier and much more convenient way to get straight to the uh, program. So let me see what comes up here, actually. So if I do one final search. And what's what I really enjoy and I what I'm doing more of is I'm actually um, on different pages. I'm just pressing the home button to see what comes up. And this has brought up the show, at, uh, Hobby City, which is a, another show by the BBC. It's got BBC iPlayer and also BBC One. So, for example, if we look at BBC iPlayer, I can search for it. I can download the app on Google, uh, Google Play. I can look, get some news, I can get images, and I can go directly to the website. So let's go to the Google Play Store and see if it will actually take us there. Now that's amazing. I've got it installed already, but that is quite amazing because from a website, it has taken us straight to um, somewhere where we could get a, a, the, the app. So I think it's a really, really good feature, and I look forward to using it more. Hopefully uh, you will also install it and enjoy using it.